Very much. If, if you're, I, I know Kathleen and I are like the personal promotion team for the History of English podcast, um, but they've done, they did a spinoff that I actually haven't listened to that I really need to do at some point um, about the history of the alphabet, oh. where they, br- they go through the entire alphabet letter by letter. Succulent. And go through the history of it and like where it comes from and how we got it, which is absolutely fascinating. Ooh. Um, because the Latin alphabet that English uses now obviously wow. comes from Latin, um, but the Latin alphabet is based on the Greek alphabet, but it didn't come directly from the Greeks. It went through the Etruscans, uh, who were a non-Indo-European speaking group that lived in Northern Italy. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's, that's going to uh, result in a real clean translation. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> which is why, so, you know, Jacob, the third level letter of the Greek alphabet is gamma, alphabet which is a gamma. G, mm-hmm. a hard G sound. Yep. Uh, the third level letter of the Latin alphabet <clears throat> is C. That's the hard K sound. Mm-hmm. Um, that is because those two sounds, g and k, are very similar um, and were often, like, interposed. And... The Etruscans didn't have the hard G sound, so they just used that letter to represent the K sound. And so that's how Latin ended up with two, and then when it was borrowed into Latin, they did have a G sound because they were an Indo-European language, so they actually had to invent a new letter, which is how we got the letter G, and then they ended up with two letters, C and K, that both had the hard K sound. Neat. What a mess. How has, yeah. this, how has this language become the most, like, I, I would argue the most dominant one on the planet. It's by far one of the worst. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thanks. Thanks, ISO. <laughs> yeah. ISO nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 